Formula One is a very expensive and lucrative sport, but not in the same way as sports like football. You see, football is expensive because football is enormous. You could say that it is by far the most played and followed sport in the world. Therefore, it makes sense that there's a lot off money involved. But Formula One is expensive for a different reason. It is very exclusive, if that makes sense. And part of this exclusivity is the fact that there are only 20 drivers. And because there are only 20, they are one of the highest paid athletes in the world. But how much exactly are they paid? Well, in this video, we will dive into exactly that and break down each driver's salary for the 2023 season and explain a little bit on why it's so much. Well, before we dive into the big numbers, let me explain the different ways a Formula One driver can earn money. And it's pretty simple. The three main ways they get paid. They get salary, bonuses, sponsor deals, endorsements. The salary is a lump sum payment paid directly from the team to their driver, either monthly or annually depending on the contract they signed. This is the main income for the majority, if not all drivers. Then you have bonuses, which are payments from the team to the driver based on their performances. This can either come in the form of a race win bonus, point scoring bonus, or a bonus if you win the championship title. Back in 2012, Lotus F1 experienced the risky business of bonuses when they offered Kimi Raikkonen a bonus of $60,000 for every point he scored that season. And well, over the next year, he scored over 390 points, 13 podium finishes, and two wins, which came out to just over $23 million. Lotus almost went bankrupt. Now that's one example of when bonuses exceed the salary, but it's quite rare. And so, the final source of income is through sponsorships or endorsements. Now these are different to both bonuses and salary, because they are not paid out directly by the team. Instead, they are paid by the brand or company that the driver is representing. One example of this is Max Verstappen's endorsement with Carnext.com, who he works very closely with and in return receives some cash. These small endorsements make up a smaller part of a driver's total income and some drivers will earn more through endorsements if they are more successful. For example, current world champion Max Verstappen will earn more than rookie Oscar Piastri. Right now enough of the explaining. You guys are watching the video to see some big numbers, so let's dive into it. At the back off the grid we have the Williams drivers by the names of rookie American Logan Sargent and Alex Albin. Both these guys are talented, but there is a difference in salary. Albin receives $2 million, where Sargent will only get $400,000. Moving along, we have Alpha Tori with their drivers being Nick DeVries and Yuki Tsunoda. DeVries gets paid $1,200,000, and Tsunoda gets paid $2 million. Heading a bit further up the grid, we have Haas with their drivers Kevin Magnussen and Nico Hulkenberg, with Kevin getting $2,200,000 and Nico earning $4,000,000. When we take a look at Aston Martin, the two-time world champion Fernando Alonso gets an insane $20 million, whereas his teammate Lance Stroll only gets half of that, coming in at $10 million. While slowly moving towards the front of the pack, we then have Alfa Romeo with Valtteri Bottas and Guan Yu Zhu. Bottas earns $10 million, whilst Zhou only gets $1 million. Looking further down the grid, we have the McLaren team, then with their drivers being Lando Norris and the Aussie rookie Oscar Piastri. Norris receives $15 million, where Piastri only gets $750,000, which makes him the lowest paid driver on the list. Moving towards the front, we are now starting to see the big numbers coming in. At Alpine, with their drivers being Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly, Ocon earns $6 million, $600,000 and Gasly $15 million. At the front off the grid, the Mercedes team with their drivers being Lewis Hamilton and George Russell pay a bit more. Mercedes pay Hamilton a hopping $55 million, whereas Russell only receives $10 million. At Ferrari, Leclerc receives $23 million, where Sainz can go home with $15 million. On to reigning constructor champions Red Bull, we see that Sergio Perez gets $26 million paid, whilst his current two-time world champion teammate Max Verstappen earns the most on the grid, coming in at $60 million. 
if you are wondering what is the highest salary an F1 driver got paid in one year. Well, that record is as you probably would have guessed by now, in the hands of Max Verstappen with his hopping $60 million salary at Red Bull in 2023. So those are the numbers. The average F1 driver's salary comes in just under $14 million per year. But why you ask, why are they being paid so much? Well, there are three main reasons. Skill, economic value, risk. But let's start with skill. Of course, as we know, there are only 20 Formula One drivers. In other words, these are the best 20 drivers in the world right now. And so, understandably, they are valuable people to a Formula One team that want a seriously talented driver to help them achieve success in the sport. And so this value that the driver offers can be crucial. Think about how important Sebastian Vettel has been in the success of Red Bull Racing, scoring four world titles from 2010 till 2013. But skill isn't the biggest reason drivers are being paid millions and millions every year. The main reason is the driver's economic value. Formula One is all about the drivers. They are the superstars, the celebrities, personalities, and the sport wouldn't be the same without them. And these international superstar drivers bring in millions of new viewers, which means millions of new buyers of merchandise. So for the teams, the economic value that the drivers offer to the team means these drivers are compensated very nicely. This is arguably the reason that drivers by the likes of Verstappen, Hamilton, and Leclerc are paid so much. They are international superstars that can bring in millions of dollars to their respective teams and also into the sport. But that is just part of it. Formula One teams can afford to pay their drivers millions because those teams can bring in hundreds of millions in just one year from their sponsors. Compare this to smaller racing series like Dakar or Le Mans, where the drivers are paid much less, simply because sponsors pay those teams much, much less to sponsor them. It's basic economics. But this isn't everything. A part of why drivers are paid so much is the risk they face whenever they jump in an F1 cockpit. Obviously, while Formula One has become an awful lot safer in the past decades, there is still an undesirable risk. An example of that was Joe Guanyu's crash at the start of the British Grand Prix last season. Therefore, it seems fair to compensate the drivers for putting their lives on the line at every race weekend. But as I mentioned, this is a more subtle reason why Formula One drivers get paid more, since there is no way to attach value on the risk they take. So there you have it, that is how much Formula One drivers will earn in the 2023 season. Compared to other sports, the best Formula One drivers are some of the highest athletes in the world, with Max Verstappen coming in fifth on the list. Were you surprised at how much the drivers earn, or did you expect them to earn a bit more? We would love to hear what you think, so leave your opinion in the comments down below. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell to be reminded of any new videos.